All right, I fucking love this town. Hell of a town, man. Just mayhem and chaos in the streets. I can't get enough. People just fighting and screaming in the street. I fucking love it, man. Uh, I love fights. I don't know why. I'll, my favorite kind of fight to see is two guys who clearly don't want to fight, but neither will back down. That gets my blood pumping, baby. Uh, I love it, because they're just saying wild shit. No one knows what's going on. I saw this recently, and uh, this one guy was yelling at the other guy. He was going, suck my fucking dick! He was going, suck my dick, asshole! And the other guy's going, well, pull it out! <laughs> pull it out, you son of a bitch! He's going, suck my dick! Well, pull it out! I'm like, where is this? I'm gonna go. I was like, which warrior will yield first? And, uh, he's like, suck my dick, you son of a bitch. Well, pull it out, you motherfucker. Well, it's out. Well, you did not foresee this. But too late to back down now. All right, you son of a bitch, huh? You too scared to come, asshole? I, I knew it, too scared to come. I could fucking tell right from the top. He's like, I don't know, spit on my balls a little bit, you dumb bastard. You never fucking <laughs> suck the dick, you dumb son of a bitch. Unbelievable, this guy. Can you? Uh, anyway, uh, what, are you, what are you doing after this, huh? You, you like Italian? Of course I like Italian, you dumb bastard. You dumb son of a bitch. I can't believe it, this guy. You ever thought about getting a house upstate? Every day. Every goddamn day. You ever thought about adopting a dog? What about a Weimaraner? That's the big gray one, right? Yeah, it's a beautiful breed. I was watching that thing way too long. Uh, Hate turned to love is a beautiful experience. Um, speaking of dogs, I just got fired from dog walking. Anyone know that was possible? Uh, <laughs> you have to hold an animal by a rope. I fucked it up somehow. Uh, apparently it's because I was hours late and high every day. But what the fuck? You should be high when you walk a dog. It's cool. It's very fun. Nothing bad would happen. I would just get too emotionally attached to the dogs. I don't know if you've been high around a dog. It's very fucking fun. Like, my boss would call me up, he's like, you're an hour and a half late, your next walk, where the hell are you? Cut to me being like, little baby doggy, I love you so goddamn much. Gonna kiss you and hug you and squeeze you and please you and rub your tummy so much. Where we go, we're gonna fly away. Fly up to, I threw a dog at a window, it's big, guys, I don't know. <laughs> A lot of dog owners will put cameras in their house to make sure their dog walkers aren't stealing. My people are like, I'm sorry, did you spend 45 minutes trying to get my dog to wear a cowboy hat? <laughs> I was like, I don't know, it was baked. I thought it looked good, you know? He's got, he's got the bone structure. He didn't raise him right. It's not my fault. Yeah. But yeah, other things. I just got married. That's pretty cool, huh? Read it away. Look at that little daddy, huh? Pretty sweet. Uh, still getting used to it. I still fuck up a lot, my dumbass. Um, I'll come home drunk, you know, two to seven times a week, depending on the season. Sure. I'm a fun guy. And I'll always try to cover it up, but it'll overcompensate way too hard. I don't know if anyone does this here, you know. I'll be like, kind of fumbling with the keys and I'll like stumble in. She'll be like, how was your night? I'm like, what an evening it was. The moon was on high, sparkling like a dime. Sounds of the city, what a town. She's like, you're hammered, aren't you? I'm like, indubitably, yeah. <laughs> I shall now make a sandwich in the bathtub. <laughs> Good day to you, madame. She's cool as hell. I'm glad I don't be dating anymore. It's very scary out there. It's, not, it's no fun. Uh, I was on the app, swipping and swiping around, huh? Swipping and swiping, this guy knows I'm talking about. Uh, I never knew what to say to people. I would just say the first dumb thing that popped in my head that I thought was funny, and no one else agreed. Uh, I'd literally say something like, um, oh no, I got my foot stuck in a jar. <laughs> and no one responded to that. Why would somebody respond to that? So then like a day later, I'd be like, whoop, it's out. <laughs> and then no one responded to that. So a day later, I'd be like, oh no, it's back in. <laughs> so there's a lot of heat on there. Um, <laughs> Uh, my wife loves murder. We watch all these murder shows. It's great. We watch Mind Hunter. You guys watch that show? Very fun. Very cool. We watch it this season. Uh, they cover the Atlanta child murders. Did you see that? If you don't know what that is, uh, a bunch of kids were murdered in Atlanta in the 70s. I'll try to make this funny. I promise. Uh, and they thought they had the culprit because they found this guy's semen at one of the burial sites. But it turns out this dude was just beaten off in the woods. 
And I was like, God damn, I've never related to a character more. I was like, yeah. And I was like, that is some shit I would do right there. Right? We've all beat off in the woods, right, boys? We all beat off weird places. I beat off every job I've had, jobs I haven't had yet, you know? I've been in the interview, like, I'm going to need a fiver. I'll be right back. I, I know there would be so many questions. Imagine you do something like that, you masturbate in the woods, and you're like, well, that wasn't my proudest moment. Uh, probably should wait until I go home. <laughs> I'm just going to go home and try to forget that ever happened. And then you go home to your wife and child. But then in this case, in the dead of the night, the police rip you out of your home. And you're like, well, this went much further than I expected. Uh, I did not know this was a crime, honestly. If that happened to me, I would be so ashamed that they'd get me to the station, I would just admit to whatever they were saying. I wouldn't even really listen. They'd be like, well, 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 well. What were you doing in the woods earlier tonight? I'm like, I did it, okay? I'm sorry. I just get these urges. My body talks to me. They're like, you sick son of a bitch. How'd you do it, huh? I'm like, you know, normal. Just like with my hand, you know? They're like, with your bare hands, you sick bastard. You're going away for the rest of your life. I'm like, well, that seems pretty extreme, but okay. I get to jail, my cellmate would be like, wow, you really killed all those kids, huh? I'm like, well, that's a pretty conservative way to look at it, but, uh, you know. <laughs> they could have grown up to be something. I get beaten to death in prison and be like, convicted child killer, Casey James Salingo was beaten to death in prison today. His final words were, geez, Louise, fellas, this is a bit much. 